So Whitmore, who averages six and a half rebounds per game, picks up an offensive board and lays it in. One of the more versatile players in the ND10, one of two players in the conference to have at least 300 points, 160 rebounds, and 50. Fieldman's got bumped and sort of ridden out on that. He's not really listening. Planting a seed, I suppose. Helms in the key, keeps the dribble alive. Now Evans looks in the post for Williamson. Same shot she missed a moment ago. This time a drop. Moving first quarter here, we approach the three minute mark. Bentley up 8 4. Martin shot off by Morgan. Williamson shot is good from the perimeter. Williamson doubles Bentley's lead to four. Martin. Cut off by Yeomans. Here's Haynes. And Steinauer cranks up the three and drops it in. First triple of the game for Southern Korea as we hit the final minute of the first quarter at the Dana Center. Williamson straight on. It's a long two. Nice touch show. 37%. Which is ninth in the NE10. And the Falcons. Quickly Perfect back on top. Bonilla for three. Gets it right back. Nice touch shown by Juliana Bonilla. That's at the second. Helms in the corner for Williamson. Pulls up. Misses the shot. Offensive rebound there by Haynes. Now back to Helms. Shot clock didn't reset though. Williamson with the turnaround over Norman. That's just the size that eventually she was. Naya Morgan with her first bucket, and then the Falcons break the drought and go back ahead by two. Steinauer wheels inside and flips up the reverse layup for two. For threes today, Falcons have now broken the 200 mark in terms of threes made this season. They lead the NE10 in threes and three-point percentage. They actually lead it in three-point defense, but we wouldn't know if they're... Always a chance to go back ahead. Martin, Helms rubs off a screen. Tries to work on Yeomans. Sends it out to Benia for three. Got it. Howells have been excellent from three-point land today. Three for Benia. They held their own on the glass. That's a good sign. Bentley had a 37-25 advantage on the backboard. It's the first time these two teams met. Williams on the left side hits the jumper. So puts Yeomans. Fires the three. Long rebound. Nice job by Helms to block out Ducharme and come away with the rebound. Up court to Bonilla. Now Williamson in the post turns around and hits over Ducharme. She does have the size advantage over everybody, but maybe Julie Eli a couple of times in the fourth quarter, but couldn't get over the hump. Now let's see what they do out of the timeout. Quickly Helms to the basket. Ends the Bentley run. That was too easy from a Bentley perspective. Tries to dribble her way out, takes it back up between the rings. And now Martin, baseline drive and kick for Helms, who made the nice cut. You have to play Martin to pass, just not much of a scorer. Has their largest lead of 11. And quickly two back. And 16 for the graduate student to lead all scorers. Bentley back up by 11. Helms, nice move in the paint with the step through. Got Cabantu on and Thompson now with 18. Williamson inside makes the catch and banks it home. Haynes pops out, now Williamson. And Bonilla, the size advantage over Thompson, but doesn't initiate the offense. Now it's Martin. Using a Williamson screen. It's bottled up. Takes the top of the key two and hits it. She's a rather reluctant second. I still don't understand why she doesn't get more touches. She's been terrific. Cabantu strips Helms briefly. Owls do retain it, though. Shot clock in single figures. Martin, nice move to get away from Ducharme and lays it in with the left. Next one will put Bentley over the limit. Bentley probably a couple of stops away from being 
Put in pretty good shape here, but nice spin move by Helms. In the quarterfinal game, they would have a semifinal game here at the Dana Center. 12 point lead. Minute 40 remaining. Martin to the cup for two. All eight points 